can make this mechanism now. So there needs to be a pipe attached to the base, this blue bit, something else for the top one. I think I need to find first the pipe and then the main green rod. Once I've found those, I can sort of think about the sizes of the rest. And that fits in this, this pipe perfectly. And I've got, I've got some of both of these. Unfortunately, I've got something that fits over there nicely for the blue bit at the top. That's too big. Although I could just pack a sort of plate there and a plate there. And I want to go do it with my foot. Presumably some sort of pivot. It doesn't need to go up much, I don't think. I don't know where to put it in relation to this vent. Because obviously it is going to get in the way, you know, if the vent is sorted in the way, it kind of sticks out like that. And by pressing that, I will raise up this, which will push the lid up. Okay, so this pipe can be the blue pipe there and also the purple pipe. So the reason I'm taking so long over this is I am foreseeing that there could be an opportunity to be cunning. It would be nice when you swing the lid back down, it would stop at the right moment so that when you release it with your foot, it drops down exactly in the right place. So I don't quite know how that's going to happen yet. I'm, I'm maybe thinking of V and a pin. And as you drop it down, the pin will find the V and it will kind of straighten up the lid as the V gets smaller and smaller, but I'm, you know, not sure yet. Oh there. I'll make it 32 and that's going to be way too high. So a bit of an exaggeration because this pin is going to be nipped off in a minute, but I just left it on so you could see. That's my mechanism for lifting the lid. So this rod will push up and then with the handle, I'll rotate and you see, it lifts. And then when I release, it kind of puts it in the right place. I'm gonna cut a little V, a little slot for that pin. How cool's that? Hopefully it'll become clear later. I am prepped now. Now I'm going to weld this piece of bar and tap one end. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm basically going to weld the lid shut and then I'm going to cut it later to make sure they're all lined up. It seems like a great plan, but I don't know. I don't really know how I'm going to hold that on there while I weld it. Didn't think of that, did I? Oh yeah, that seems to be strong. Okay. Let's weld that in place. Is this really stupid? I'm not going to weld here. I am not welding there. And I am not welding there either so that I can cut a piece out. Yeah, not bad. This might not have been a terrible idea after all. I should have done that before. I should have put some taps around the lid. But uh, I didn't think of it. When I cut through that, obviously that will be separate, but these will still be lined up. And next, I think I need to weld that into there.
once I get this off, everything will come apart. But until then, I've got to use a drill. It's still slightly attached. There we go. This goes. There will be some sort of pivot mechanism holding this bar. This bar, if I push it, lifts the whole uh, lid. So I need to find something that's just for demonstration purposes that is the right height. Okay, well that's nearly it. Either I can press the lever and therefore lift this up and then I can use the handle on the top to spin it. And then release with my foot. Or I can use this pivot and if the pin stays in the same place, as I twist, it, it will find its own way back. It's less ideal that one, but it's kind of, I've got, at the moment, before I weld one solid, uh, I've got two options. I'm really excited by that. I'll put a handle here maybe. Yeah, I need a handle there. I'll make shift handle. Let's get a smaller one. So if that's shut, I don't, want it, I don't want it facing that way because it's a bit too hot, but I don't want it facing completely this way. Okay, so there's the handle. So I lift, I press, it will lift, then I can spin it out of the way, and then presumably I can let go and it will drop back. That is awesome. I'm so, I can't believe it, I made it. I'm easily amused. So this rod is a little bit loose in this pipe. Probably a good thing. But because of that, the whole thing is sort of falling away slightly, so there's a tiny gap there. So I can always either bash this pipe uh, uh, to pull it a little tighter, or put a little, another little bit of pipe here but in slightly, maybe attached to the base, and that will keep it back. But I'm very pleased. In general, that's been a lot of progress today. Happy with that. So I need a little handle. This might get really hot, I don't know. This might be a rubbish idea. All the flame and heat coming out there could be just way too much. I have no experience with this whatsoever. So what else do I do? I've got to make some sort of mechanism here. I'm going to make a little cup. It's basically going to be pipe, but with a solid bit at the bottom, with a hole drilled through it. And that will sit on the bottom of that shaft. And the hole through it will enable me to put a pin through and kind of, that'll be the seesaw attachment. And because it'll be solid and it will, the, the rod will rotate in it, it'll be able to lift, but also not rotate with the rod. So it'll be able to lift the rod and the, you'll see what I mean. So my problem is now, I need to lift with my foot this metal rod, which is also lifting the heavy uh, lid. Obviously it's gonna be red hot too. So I've made this little, it's basically two tubes, two little bits of tube. One will run inside the other, and the rod will sit in there. And I'm gonna make a little foot, a seesaw foot thing. It'll lift up but it will also enable the rod to rotate with the handle. Obviously it's a weird thing to be wearing down, so I put the little uh, tube in there to save the bolt from wearing out. So now I'm going to make a little um, a pivoty thing that I'll make a, I'm gonna make the foot pedal basically. I need another light here.
made this little thing. Not sure where to pivot or how big to make it yet. I need to make it massive. So, it's red hot. Lift and rotate to wherever and then let, let it go down. Oh, how cool is that? I'm so jumped. Up, back, down. Oh, love it. Okay, so I need to make some sort of pivot there. I could make it here. I don't really know where I'm going to make it yet. So you would go, I need to open my foundry now, and press, open it up, and you can release, do your bits and bobs, press, I will, I will shorten the lever so that it's, so I'm only pressing there I think, maybe put a little foot plate on it, and um, press, back, there we go. I can already see that I put the uh, I put the tube on the wrong place. Um, I'm not sure if I can be bothered to uh, put a, a new new hole. We'll figure it out. No, I'm not kidding. This is part twelve. No, I don't know what part this is. But um, all I've got left to do is shorten the, the rod, kind of give it a little sand and a tidy up, tighten bolts, that kind of thing. Maybe make holes a little bit bigger. It's, a little, it's binding a little there. It might be just that it needs tightening up and some oil on it. But, and also I need a little foot there, just so that I'm not rocking the whole thing over when you, when you press. Uh, foot plate, but apart from that, I think it's time to cast the castable refractory. So that's super exciting because then I'm just like a, the next job is to light it. So that's really exciting. Well, that's me done for today. Bye! Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Um, this is all about melting bronze and casting sculptures and doing arty things like that. So.